Hello everyone, this is Sheila back with another tutorial. Um, this time I'm doing a, a 26 inch girls button up cardigan. And I've already started the, um, the rib. I've cast on, well I actually cast it on 75 stitches. But I increased it to 76 stitches because I needed an even number. But I like an odd number for doing the rib so you get the same stitch at the start and the finish. So we'll do 75 stitches for the rib, rib 12 rows and increase one stitch on the last row. And then we start in the pattern is a basket weave pattern and it's knit four, purl four, knit four, purl four for four rows. And then on the next four rows, instead of knitting, it's purl four, knit four, just you're doing alternating the the thing so it's quite simple I'll blow this up and let you see better so this is pearl four four and now it's knit four pearl four Knit four. And that's what you're doing all the way across the row. <clears throat> Just alternating between knit four and purl four. And now we come back when I get to the end of that row. And now we're at the last four stitches and it's purl four. We're starting with the same four stitches. At the end is what we started with. We started with purl four. We're knitting with purl four. And that's all you do. You do another three rows. Same stitches. And then you'll change. Instead of starting with purl. You'll start with knit. Knit four and purl four. It's just alternating the, um, the knit and the purl. Across the row. And as you go up the, um, the row as well. And you're going to knit to 12 inches. Till you get to the now you're going to knit to 11 inches when you get to the armholes and I will come back and show a bit more when I get to the armholes this is the next part of the tutorial and I have done a tape measure here 11 inches up to the the armholes and I'm now ready to start the shaping for the armholes up to the neck so I'm going to unwind some wool from here I bring my tape measure down so my hands don't go past the video So I'm going to knit, knit one, knit two, pass that stitch over. So this is casting off three stitches, knit ways. And then the next start of the pattern is knit four, purl four, sorry, purl four. Because I'm on to the next part of the pattern. And then knit four. And purl four. And that is how I'm going to knit across the row until I get to the last three stitches. And I'll meet you there. And I'm on to my last four stitches. Then I'm going to cast off another three stitches. One, two, three. 
and then work my way across that row. And now we'll meet you at the end of that row. So I've cast off the four stitches at both ends and now I'm decreasing. I've knit up to the, um, the fourth row. I'm going to do the decreasing, I'm going to knit one, slip one, knit one and then pass that slip stitch over and then carry on with the pattern to the last three stitches. Now start, I should be starting a new set of <laughs> basket. That's, so it's two knit after that on mine. So I'm missing across the row to the last three stitches and I'll be back then. And I'm almost at the end of that row, so I'm going to knit two. And then I'm going to knit two together. And knit the last stitch. And then when I do the, the wrong side row, it'll be the first two stitches up purl. And then just follow the pattern to the last two stitches. And now I miss you at the end of that row. And the last four stitches are all purl. Now I have to knit two more rows and do that decreasing again. Now I'm on to the decreasing row again. This is the, the eighth row. So I'm going to knit one, slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over. The next stitch will be purl because we're changing the, the stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, And one, two, three, four, and carry on across the row until you get to the last two, three stitches. And now we're on to the last few stitches. Next one I'm going to purl. The next two, knit two together. And knit the last stitch. And now we're going to decrease on every alternate row but on every purl row well what would be a purl row the wrong side the first two stitches you're going to purl doesn't matter whether the pattern C is knit or purl you purl and then just follow your pattern to the last two stitches and purl those last two stitches Now we'll meet you at the end of that row. 
and the last three stitches knit one and then purl the last two stitches and remember on every wrong side row you purl the first two and the last two stitches and that keeps the um the shaping the look of the shaping right Well, that's the the back finished and I decreased the stitches until there was 26 stitches left and put them onto a, um, a holder and now I have started the um, the left front keep that out the way and for the left front move it up I've cast on 36 stitches and knit 12 rows in one by one. I, I'm doing twisted rib on this. Anyone, you can do whatever kind of rib that you prefer. You could do a two by two if you want or just an ordinary one by one. But I'm that's twisted rib on uh, mine. Turn it over anyway. And then I started the... Um, there's eight rows, as you've probably seen from the back, there's actual eight rows of the pattern. There's four rows of knit two, knit four, pull four, knit four, pull four. And then four rows where you reverse them, go from knit, you go purl over the knit. Well, when I did the back, I'm going to show you what I did with the back. Now with the back, I started off with knit four, pull four, knit four, pull four. But when I've started the um the left front as I want the to match up the sides yeah I've started with purl four knit four purl four knit four because what I started with on the back was knit and if I'd started with knit on here I would have had eight stitches together I know there's going to be a seam but there would have been eight stitches of knit. That's put it further down. There would have been eight stitches of knit up the seam. And I didn't want that. I wanted it to match. So I started off with purl. So that's the um that 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 is the one the only difference. It's the same stitches, but just starting them different. So instead of knitting, starting with knit four, I've started with purl four. And I've done a few rows, a few rows of that. Now these are the left and the right front of the um the cardigan. I didn't get round to filming them while I was actually knitting them because I wasn't at home when I did it. But as you can see, I've matched the colours as best I could, cutting little bits of the ball out here and there to get the right colours to to match up. And I started off with. 3.25 needles and I cast on 36 stitches and did 12 rows and rib and then did the the pattern in purl four, knit four, purl four, knit four, purl four, knit four and then knit four, purl four, knit four, purl four, four both for four rows until it got to 11 inches up to here and then I decreased on the fifth row decrease one stitch knit one slip one knit one and pass the slip stitch over and I did that on alternate rows working the the decreasing stitches into the pattern until I had 19 stitches I got up to here and I cast off um, four stitches and I've got my notes here yes I cast off four stitches at the neck edge then decreased one stitch on the next five rows on the neck edge while still doing the decreasing on alternate rows on the um the armhole until I had two stitches left and then I knit those two stitches together and then for the um the left side and the right side you just reverse the um the shaping 
but I am going to do a PDF for this for anybody that wants it. So you'll be able to see how to do all the instructions will be in the in the PDF. And now I've started the sleeves. Sleeve and I've cast on 38 stitches. Well, I've cast on 37 stitches and knit in one by one rib and increased one stitch at the end of the last row. So I had 38 stitches and that keeps the, um, the stitches at each end of the, um, the pattern right. So I started off with on the right side around. I started off with knit one. Purl four, knit four, purl four, knit four, cross the row to the last stitch and knit one. Done that for four rows, but on the third row I increased one stitch. So on the next lot of pattern it started off with um, purl two. And then knit four, purl two, knit four, and so on. And I am increasing on every eighth row until I have 54 stitches and I will be back when I get that far well I'm now up to the armholes and I have cast off three stitches at each end and then knit another three rows so I decreased on the fifth row and then I'm decreasing on every fourth row after that, until I have 40 stitches left on the um, the needle, which will be another three times, be four times altogether that I'm decreasing on the fourth rows, and then it'll be every alternate row after that. And on the wrong row, you keep your, your first two stitches purl, then your last two stitches purl for that little little bit stitch up the, the side to keep it a nice line. Once you have to knit and pattern across the, the row. Let's just knit four and purl four. And you just work those decreases into the um, the pattern. And through my last four stitches, which I'm going to knit two and purl two. And that is how the decreasing will be and this is one I did earlier and as you can see I have kept the the stripes matching pretty well and you keep on decreasing after you have 40 stitches left you decrease on every alternate row until you have eight stitches left and you put them onto a, um, I've just put them onto a safety pin because you don't seem to get stitch holders as small as safety pins but these are quite handy safety pins these were sent to me by Sue I had a box she sent me a box of these they're like the little kilt pins I quite like these but that's what I use for the whole the, there's eight stitches there there's two four six eight and that's just a little bit more of the um the tutorial and after finish that sleeve i will show how to do the neck uh i now have all five pieces of the cardigan and i'm now going to put the neck band on and when you're picking up the pieces to do the neck band as it looks the same on both sides 
make sure you're picking up the right side to do it because you have a the knit the knit stitches all down that raglan there and when you switch it over it does look very similar to the knit looks like a knit stitch down there but you pull that apart and you can see the pearl underneath so that is the wrong side of it there so we are going to pick up 18 stitches up the right front is that the right front yes that's the right front <laughs> i have to make sure i'm onto the right front the right one to blow that up I'll find the first stitch to start with here. So we're going to pick up 18 stitches. Oh, I haven't got through the whole stitch there. That's it. That's one. Two. Three. Four is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, that was number twelve. That one went the same stitch twice. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is fifteen. 16, 17, 18. You do have to pick up practically every stitch you can see to get the 18 stitches there. So that's my 18 and then I'm going to pick up 7, no not 7, sorry 7, 8 stitches from the sleeve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. So that's eight stitches from there. And there are 26 stitches from the back. And I'm going to have to put those on a needle because of the work there, the wrong way around. Uh, 26 stitches from the back now. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, 
and 26 the last stitch now for the second sleeve And that's eight stitches off the sleeve. And now for the now for the left front, we want to pick up eighteen stitches here. That's one. Two, that's three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, it's ten, eleven, it's twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and the last stitch, eighteen. Now I'm going to knit the first row Take that stitch So you have a Knitting the first row gives you a garter stitch edge across there that separates the um, The neck from the rest of the cardigan A lot of patterns don't tell you to do that, but that's what I like on my patterns. And now I'll meet you at the end of that row. That's that row knitted and you can see the, the garter stitch ridge that I was talking about that separates the band from the cardigan. That's what I like on my cardigans. And now we're going to do a knit one, purl one rib. And that's just simple knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, one. So we're going to rib like that for the next six rows. And then we'll be casting off um, after that. Well, I'll be back before that. So that's six rows in rib. And now to cast off. And you're going to cast off loosely because you don't want a tight edge on the neck. 
and cut it off in the, the rib stitch. That makes your stitch looser than if you're casting up all knit stitches. A little bit wool out there. So you don't pull the stitch tight after you cast it off, you just leave it. Go on to the next stitch. And as you can see, a little bit stretching that that rib, and you just carry on across the row until you come to your last stitch. So that's the neck completely finished. Just need the bands on now, but before we put the bands on, I'll be sewing this up, and I like to do a flat stitch. Or the raglans, which is taking is putting them the the pieces flat like that, and taking one stitch from each side. I have a needle somewhere. I'll put a needle and show how. I would pin it, but I'm just doing a couple of stitches to show. I pull that stitch tight there. We have two strands here. I just tighten them off. Have to cut one off. I don't over sew that and there that I've cut off into the, the work and you just take a stitch from it's hard to get through this stitch with this needles <laughs> I think I need some needles with better points on yeah. and you just go from one side to the other matching up the the stitches That's how easy it is to to flat stitch. And you're just over sewing that in that you left after you cut it off. And that's flat stitch. As you can see on the other side, it's this doesn't show through on the other side, it's just a flat stitch, it makes a nice flat seam. And then when you come to do the sleeve seams, you do the same with the cuffs, you flat stitch those pieces of the cuffs together. And when you go onto the sleeve seams, you put them like that and back stitch between the two pieces like that and keep back stitching over keep going back one stitch and over so I'm going to stitch this up now and I'll be back to show how to put the bands on well, almost finished I've done the, um, the button band first and I'm going to show you how that is done and as you can see all these markers here I'll blow it up a little bit so you can see better all the markers here that I've put in, I've measured two inches between each marker. There's actually sixteen inches from the sixteen inches from um, the top of the band down to the the bottom. So I put markers in every two inches, 
So that means you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. And between those markers, these ones from here to here, these spaces, we're putting 12 stitches. It's six stitches to the inch. That's how I work out the um the bands and the neckline. It's six stitches to the inch between each of these markers. So there's going to be 12 stitches between each of these markers. But the bottom band here is you don't want this. You need more stitches where there's a band. Otherwise, it pulls the band up like that. So this front part of the um, and the band would be lifted up like that away from the, um, the back. So you have to have extra stitches here and extra stitches for the... Um, just a, a couple of extra stitches there. So I'm picking up 14 stitches at the top and 17 stitches at the bottom. So I'll be picking every single stitch up on the um the band where the welt, the welt part for the um the bottom. But the rest of them I'll picking up um every three stitches and then miss a stitch. So I'll go three, miss a stitch, six, miss a stitch, nine, miss a stitch, twelve, miss a stitch, and that's the way I go on. How we pick up the band so I'll show you that now and I've pulled a little bit of the um the wool off the um the ball to hopefully get it the same as the other side so that I'm going to start with blue and it'll end up with a little bit pink and we have 103 stitches all together so I'm starting down the bottom here and I'm going to pick up 17 stitches up the um the bottom. I'll blow that up again. We start in the very bottom stitch. That's one. That's Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, is 17 stitches and then take the first marker out now we're going to go one two three miss the next stitch four That is five, six, miss the next stitch, seven, eight, nine, miss the next stitch. So that's ten, eleven. 12 take the next marker out and that's how you pick the stitches up uh, or the band and when I've done that I'm going to knit um, the six rows again but I'll be placing the um, the buttonholes doing buttonholes in that but um, I will also come back and work that out and show you how, it, how I work out how where the buttonholes go
So I've picked up the stitches and I am knitting the um, the ribbon. I'm putting the the buttonholes on the fourth row, and I've put spaces where I'm going to put the buttonholes, the stitch markers, and I've placed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven knit seven of the knit stitches between each stitch marker. And when I come to the um, the stitch marker, I'll be putting the wool forward and knitting two together. So I'll be knitting that stitch and the next one, those two stitches there together and all the way along the, um, the row. And as simple as that, it's very easy to, um, to find where to put the buttonholes. That's a cardigan fully finished. Buttons put on. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. And the measurements are the finished measurement is that's 28 to 26, but when you do 26, you always do a little bit larger. So this is 14 inches, so that's 28. The side measurement is 11 inches. And the sleeve is 12 and a half inches. And the full back length is 17 and a half inches. So that's all come out what I aimed at when I started knitting it. So that's it. I'll be able to upload this onto YouTube and, and then it'll be up for sale after that. But there will be a PDF format of this as well, um, which I am in the middle of typing up, so not straight away. It might take me a little bit longer because it does take a little bit of a while to type things up. So if you'd like to see more, thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll let you see anything else that um, I get around to. So bye for now.